Um, I was the youngest of six kids. Um, yeah, my parents had a small business. They they run a bait shop, so we dug worms. We all were um, expected to help. I was left when I was when I was um, just tenth grade. I was left with my dad, and he he took me and um, decided he wanted to start a family. So for me, that was not cool, <laughs> but it was what he did and took me to the woods and um, we had no family contact whatsoever and uh, we lived in a school bus, 1955 International. I was afraid to say anything because at that point I'd already said things and that already got me in more uh, trouble with him and people didn't believe me at this point I ran away in Wyoming they didn't believe me there there were so many more times that people didn't believe me called out to the family called out to school officials and no one's believing me so what do I do? On my 27th birthday is when I knew he had he had some kind of inkling that something was happening because he had saw three state police cars go by this house really fast. They came back, they got help from probably the sheriff or someone up in Barry County, I'm not sure where exactly. They arrested both of us and there was three kids all sitting in the back of the police car with me and then they had him in a separate car. You know, I got out, we survived. You know, it was sad because I knew that they were gonna take the kids. I knew that that was all gonna, but I didn't know if I would ever get them or see them again. And they kept saying, oh no, you'll be with your kids and this will be great, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it wasn't like that. <laughs> I had to fight, fight everything to get the kids back. So I had to prove that I could take care of my kids because they thought, the state actually thought that I would go back to him. So that's what they wanted to make sure that I didn't do. But they didn't come out and say that to me. But I knew what I needed to do, so I bought a trailer, uh, a mobile home over in Thunderbird Trailer Park. And then I was able to establish a home and um, I started night school, I got a job. I was able to establish all that. They did not ask me to do that, but then later on, during the court, they did ask me to make sure I did all these things, you know, and then, because I was trying to get the kids back. How I found out about Habitat was I have a good friend um, that saw me on the news, and she's my second grade teacher, and um, she finally looked me up, was able to contact me, and she was the one that said, hey, maybe you should check into Habitat for Humanity. You know, you might be able to apply and, you know, might be accepted there for a house. And I had no idea what <laughs> Habitat was, but um, Habitat for Humanity, so I did. And um, I think it was like uh, probably two years later I was accepted. And I did my time um, working on the house a year recently, I've been able to pay off the home, so that was a great feeling. What it was like to move in here <laughs> in the winter time, it was awesome. <laughs> a nice warm place is all fixed up and everything. Got the keys. Um, the kids were all jumping around. They were all so happy, and you know it was just it was a nice feeling to have some place to call home for these kids. I mean, that's what I, that was the whole goal I had in mind. So what my, my second grade teacher and I both did together is write a book about my life and the journey of it, basically getting to this point where we are now. Um, uh, and she's been a super help. She, she looked me up when I got out of the situation and she was there for me when I got my children back. Um, so we've been able to walk through this together basically um, but she's had a lot of support from her family too. So 
I would like to just say that um, Habitat was one of my goals why, that I did reach because I always wanted to have a home for my children, a stable life. And so I really feel like through all my experiences that I've experienced along the way, which were good and bad, um, uh, prepared me for a moment to um, have a challenge, but yet have um, peace, you know, with a Habitat home. Um, it answered so many prayers for all of us, just to be, you know, warm, dry, and comfortable with the family together and safe. Um, so Habitat's really just, I think they bring the family together. Um, it's more than just house, that's for sure. It's, it's more than just having a place to call home. It is part of your home and your family to be with Habitat.